Hi, man. Drops from Welcome to Back Office, and this is a little wee board I found, and this is something called the. You can't quite read it actually because it's in there with this module on top, called the Arietta G25, and it's by Acme Systems. And this is basically, if you imagine the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is something that came out way before the Raspberry Pi Zero, but it's something very similar. I think this is about, gosh, it must be at least three years old, maybe longer. And uh, it came as a sort of plain board with a ARM chip underneath this module and a flash sort of memory. And this on top, in fact, I don't know if that is flash. I think it's, I think that is actually it's um, RAM rather than actually flash memory. Anyway. And this is a, a sort of Wi-Fi module you could buy for a couple of quid when you got it, and I've sort of soldered that in. It's quite a nicely made board. It was very neat at the time, and it was exceptionally uh, good value. It's, this is powered by the sort of standard tiny phone USB port, but you also had this, and this was an extra you could buy. And it's basically a debug port, and I can look on the chip here, and this is just basically another FTDI 232R type chip and a USB, so you plug that in and that converts the USB signals to serial, so it looks like a COM port on your PC. And you pop that on there. Not sure which way round, actually, looking at it. It says pin one here, and whatever the <laughs> remain the pin, but there's no, it just says ground on this side, so you could have to assume either pin one is 3v3 or pin one's ground. Yeah, with that black lacquer on there, you can't really tell. Try it one way, then the other. Micro SD card carrying the operating system, which is Linux. And uh, that's pretty much it. You have all of these pins here, many of them are which GPIO, analog digital converters, the usual thing. Effectively, say, Raspberry Pi Zero style. And uh, there was an antenna attached to this, which I have kind of desoldered. So you might just be able to see if I hold it up to the camera. I need something to poke, to prod, to show you. There we go. So you see there, there's actually a break here because you'd remove a uh, sort of zero R resistor that was sort of using this antenna and you just solder whatever you want there. But you know, I, I need to put something back in there to sort of bring that antenna back into play. That's not a problem because we do have a bunch of Kynart wire. I've just been using that already. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just strip a large bit of Kynark and I just want to use some of the core so I'll leave that there next to the board. Try to find some tweezers with which to tweeze. <laughs> this wire is so thin it's 30 AWG which I think is about a third of a millimeter isn't it? Urgh. It's not the thinnest but it's certainly a bit too thin to use by hand. So my aim is to sort of solder it on there, solder it on there, and then just sort of trim the rest with side cutters. So I'm just going to make sure that bit on the module side is good. It is good. It's done. Getting in there with side cutters is probably going to be quite the challenge. So you can see it there. I'm just going to try to bend this up. I think that's it. I think I've nibbled it. Good, and I think that's repaired. So I don't really know what uh, I'm gonna do with this. So if any of you have any ideas of what I can do with the Arietta, A-R-I-E-T-T-A G25 module with Wi-Fi on it, um, then yeah, give me an idea. I don't know what's available to me on here. There might be some USB, so I might be able to actually attach it to something else if it has a USB host controller built on. But apart from that, I really don't know anything about this. I do have the debug port, guys, so I will be able to do that with it. So ping me, ping me with some ideas. acmesystems.eu, that's all you need to know, man. Please feel free to comment down below with those suggestions. Click like and subscribe if you're that way inclined, and as ever, Thank you for watching.